Okay, Michael and I are going to be juicing a bunch of vegetables, <laughs> kale and cucumbers and carrots in our juicer. And he's going to juice it all and I'm going to videotape it and it's going to be all of this compacted into a juice that we're going to drink. We're going to feel super amazing. So I'm going to take the camera and videotape Michael now <laughs> juicing. <laughs> Hi, Michael. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. <laughs> first, we're going to start. Well, first, I like to take a little vinegar and run it through the top so it hits the grater blade and goes through the screen, the strainer, and falls into here. And then I take the vinegar in here and I swish it around and just kind of disinfects anything that might have been there from sitting, even though it's been washed. Even though it's been sitting for you know a couple days or whatever, really to disinfect it. But first, we're gonna start with all vinegar this is the best cleaner. It's natural. Yeah. Everyone should be cleaning Don't that use, like, chemicals. Bleach or anything yeah. Or, no. no. <laughs> vinegar, even cheap off-brand vinegar, is good. It's better than this is cleaners. Value store vinegar. Okay. We're gonna start so with he already washed all these yep. vegetables. And I cut the backs, the stems off of all the carrots and just washed the cucumbers and thoroughly washed the kale because kale just, it just sits in the store bare and anyone can touch it or whatever. So we washed that really good. And kale is a good super food to buy because it's cheap. Very cheap. It's probably the best thing you can buy health wise, so. money wise. Just put it in. Okay. Yep. And then explain what happens. And there's a rotary blade in here that spins and it pushes it up against the screen and the solids come out back here and the juices, that thick, rich, green juice, that's what we're after. Vibrant colors. That's what I want to eat. I want to be, become a vibrant vegetable. <laughs> So you don't get that much juice for how much you're putting in. Not a kale. So it's what do you do with all the pulp afterwards? In the back, do you just throw it away or? Um, a lot of times we save our pulp. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, <laughs> put it in the pan with some sunflower oil. Fry it up. Get that fried up. Even though it's oil, it's sunflower oil, so it's good. Or grapeseed oil. Or even olive oil. No Pam. And you, you mix it with um, eggs sometimes, and turmeric, chia yeah. seeds. Put coconut flakes in there maybe. Yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of kale. So let's see if we can, can we watch what happens when we put it in? Jack, all the juice right out of it, huh? Yep. You are what you eat. We are kale. <laughs> we are kale. We are green juice. That juice would probably not taste that good, honestly. Kale is pretty rich. That's why we're mixing it with cucumbers and carrots. Carrots are very sweet. Two pounds of carrots, organic carrots, is definitely. And three big, huge, homegrown organic cucumbers. So we suggest if you're just juicing vegetables to put in carrots because it makes it a whole lot sweeter tasting. Kale is kind of bitter on its own. Cucumber is a pretty good taste, but I think carrots must have carrots. Look at that big cucumber. Cucumbers have a lot of a lot more comes out with that. Dehydrated. 
and cucumbers are super amazing for you. They have like a hundred benefits to them. If you don't know, read up on them. They cure a lot of things. And carrots. Carrots are good for your skin. That's why I want to have him choose a lot of carrots for me because it helps with acne problems. You need to make a face wash out of it. You got carrot juice everywhere. Carrots have quite a bit of juice. It's really hard to Carrots are nice because they're sweet. And carrot juice, even though carrots are kind of hard to eat, two pounds of carrots in one sitting. Yeah, I get sick of carrot taste quickly. You could drink four pounds of carrot juice in one sitting, no problem, because it's sweet and it, it's got a rich flavor. Look at all these vibrant colors. That's what I want to be drinking. So that was pretty quick. I mean, you only have two cucumbers left. And for you to sit down and eat all of that, that would take a while. But juicing it up, that's the good thing about a juicer, is it's easier to get all of that in you quicker. So, we're just about done and we're gonna drink this. Once again, it was what, two pounds of carrots, three large cucumbers, and a bundle of kale. What's that like, you think? A lot of kale. And we got quite a bit of juice out of it. I mean, we're both gonna drink that. You can cut that down if it's just one person. Yeah. However, it's good to um, drink it all yourself. We also got great. a big day ahead of us. Yes, so. and this will give us tons of energy. And keep us feeling good pretty much all day long. So. We like to drink our juice on an empty stomach. That way, because if you eat a bunch of food, if you were to eat a bowl of ice cream, per se, before you ate, drink this juice, it would have your stomach coated with all that stuff and you wouldn't be able to absorb the nutrients. Or even if you had yourself a plate of scrambled eggs or something else, best to take your nutrients in on an empty stomach, it absorbs directly. Yes. So we hope that this uh, helps inspire you to eat your vegetables. It's kind of an easier mm -hmm. way. And it smells good, right? It smells good. It smells very strong. Which the taste kind of, some people aren't used to it because they're used to all these like chemical sugar coated mm. foods that are meant to taste good. But when you start getting into eating the natural raw foods the way it's intended to be, it starts tasting a lot better because your body automatically, that's what we're supposed to have. So you'll get used to it and it will taste so much better than the food you can buy elsewhere. Right? Right. So thank That's you for watching. Juicing with Michael and Nicole. Yay, bye. bye.